this is my PC and the external and internal drives connected to it. This here is the system drive. That's my 250 gig SSD. This is an external drive. Uh, so it's this one and this one. So these are two separate external drives. This drive and this one are combined into one internal and this is an internal drive. Now I'm going to check to see of all these drives which these are formatted GPT. The ones I'm really are concerned about are the ones that are bigger than two terabytes. This one here and this one and these two. As you can see this one here has a total of 2.6 terabyte this has 0.98 so I'm pretty sure that these two are combined to be 4 terabytes and this one drive here is 4 terabytes so I want to see if these are formatted GPT so I need to go into command line so I'll go to start type in CMD and I want to run it as administrator I click yes now let's uh, combine these two windows so I'm going to drag this one all the way down the corner wait till I get my shade and then I'm going to click on command prompt so I have them side by side now in the command prompt I'm going to type in this part, one word, and enter. That shows this part is running. So the next command I have to type in is list space disk. So it gives me a list of the disks that I have. As you can see here, GPT, there's three of them that are checked. There's two, there's four, and there's five. Now, this doesn't show me the disk numbers like here. I have to go into disk management to see that. So I would right click on this PC, go manage, up my disk management. Now, see here, let me adjust this up. Move this over. Okay. So this zero, which is 223, scroll over here, to zero. Same disk here. That one's net GPT. That's the one that has my windows. This one, 900 gigabytes, has my images. This two, which is shown as almost four, four terabytes as my data and my movies. This three, and eleven gigabytes right here. This has my Linux. This four has also about four ter four terabytes. Has movies and data. And that's GPT. And this five has my Im in images. That's only one terabyte, but I still have it set up as GPT. Now let's say if I wanted to convert the ones that are not GPT into GPT. I go into this part and I want to select that disk. So I click, I, I type in select and then the number say I do number three then I type in clean enter okay as you can see that this just got wiped out so it's one thing to note that if you do this whatever you have on that disk is going to be deleted so that's why I selected that one in particular because I knew that this I could afford to let that one go. I could always rebuild that one. 
But yeah, whenever you do this process, whatever is on that disk is going to be deleted. So images, pictures, anything you have on there is gone. So you can't do this process on the fly. All right, so now I'm going to convert that disk to GPT. Now to verify that, I'm going to go back and list my disk. Now look at the column here. So as you can see here, disk three before was not GPT, and now disk three after is GPT. And then if you look at the size, it was 11 gig with free 43. Now it's 111 gig with free 1100. Yeah, 111 gig. So I wiped out that drive during this process. So that's one thing to remember is when you do this, you're going to delete everything on that drive. So that's it.